Shalom. All the praises goes to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakothi Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekha Kodash. Give double honors to apostles of Great Millstone who rule over us. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. And shalom to the hopeful elect. Yeah? There is an elect, but we hope and pray that we are of the elect. Amen, so be true. The name of this video is Warning. Do not change the doctrine. I repeat this again. Warning, do not, do not change the doctrine. You have the true doctrine. You have the false doctrine. True doctrine, false doctrine. I repeat one more time. You have the true doctrine and you have the false doctrine. Warning, do not change the doctrine. The book of Galatians 1. Verse 6 to 10. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Yahushai HaMashiach unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Yahawashai HaMashiach. But though we or an angel from heaven preach another gospel, any other, Zalakia, but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. That's a serious matter. If you preach another gospel other than this one, you see on the screen, if you go to this doctrine, and you preach that doctrine, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or Yahweh? Do for do I now persuade men or Yahweh? Or do I seek to please men? It's not about pleasing men. It's not about pleasing men. It's all about pleasing Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Yahweh, of Yahweh Shai, a Mashiach. So get this straight. It's not about pleasing men. First and foremost, we have to give the glory and the praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, not of men. Not of men.
And I remember a few weeks back, maybe a month back, Elder Apostle Ramlav did a lesson. about pleasing men, trying to be like men. Remember, it's all, it's all, it's all about the power, you know. It's all about Yahweh Basham Yahushai, not of men. You think that by acting a certain way or moving a certain way, yes, that's going to make you favor you know, be you know to 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 make, be favored in his, in the eyes of the of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Be yourself. Be yourself. By acting a certain way, like a brother, or an, or anyone that you look up to, is not going to help you. Be yourself. There's a saying back back in the days, yeah, in the Caribbean. We used to say, follow fashion, get left. In other words, if you follow a fashion that looks good, you're going to be left behind because that's not of you. Do not be funny if you're not funny. You see what I'm saying? Keep your own spirit. Keep your own spirit. It's not about pleasing men. We have to please Yahweh. It's first and foremost Yahweh Basham. It's all about Yahweh Basham Yahushai. It's all about Yahweh Basham Yahushai. First and foremost. Whatever high knowledge you have, whatever low knowledge you have, it's all about Yahweh Basham Yahushai. That's what it is. Not of men. There's an order to follow. But you remember. Keep your own spirit. Everybody's different. Galatians chapter 1 verse 8. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And there's an order, yeah? There's an order that has been set up. And we need to stick to that order. Be, keep, your, keep your own spirit and, and keep to the order which has been set up. But remember, warning, do not change the doctrine. Because you know what? Jacob's trouble is coming. So whoever's going to change that doctrine to believe that Jacob's trouble is not coming, the RFID chip is not coming, make it be a curse upon you. Remember this, yeah? Let that be a curse upon you if you preach another doctrine. Because Jacob's trouble is coming. And we all have to face that. I repeat that. Jacob's trouble will come. 
through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Then we go to Matthew. Matthew 24, verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. I repeat that again. And except those days Right, remember, we know that evil times are coming. Those days are coming. Should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So therefore, those days that is coming, this, this time of trouble is coming, this Jacob's trouble is coming, the elect would be in those days of trouble. The elect is going to be in the midst of these days. So how could you say? Right? Because that's going to be a time like never before. That's going to be a time like never before. Remember that. The book of Peter, 1st Peter's chapter 4. So like here. 1st um, Peter's chapter 4, verse 18. And if the righteous... Now, the elect, you know, are the righteous people, yeah? It's not the ungodly, it's the righteous. And if the righteous scarcely, scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Now, if you look at that word, scarcely, it says, Let me play it, Mike, if you could hear it. Strong's G, 3433, Malice, Malice. And it says, scarcely, hardly have much work with difficulty, hardly, yeah, not easy i.e. scarcely, very rarely. So let's go back again. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Remember, it's all about the elect. It's all about the elect, you know. Right now, in that time to come, it's not about to, to do with the two-thirds. It's about to do with the elect. It's about to do with the 144, the governing body of men, and the one-third, which is of men, women, and children. And we've been through situations where we've been saved on the brink, yeah? Just like an elevator. Just think about an elevator. And that elevator is going up to floor 144. Just think about it. That elevator 
is going out to the floor 144. And people going into that elevator and you see that door, right? You're from a distance now and you see that elevator door just about to shut. And it's going to the floor 144. And we've been there before. Where we barely make it. Imagine running to that elevator. The door is about to close. Just about to close. And you see that door closing. And you sprint. To reach to that elevator before the door closes. Fully closes. And you barely squeeze. You know, you don't go in full ways. You turn sideways. To get into that lift. No matter what it is, you don't care. As long as you get into that lift. That elevator. And when you squeeze through. And people see you running. They see you running towards the lift. They, they, they make a way for you. You see, that's the elect in the in that in because you remember that that, that lift is going to the to the lift of 144. And people see you coming. They see you trying. They see you fighting to get there. It's on the brink. And what they do, they make space. Just in case you, you re when you reach the lift now, you, you dash in. Because the door is about to close. They're not going to make an obstacle where you can't come in. right? Because remember, the people in that lift are, are, are the members of the elect. They want you to be saved too. So that door is about to close and you sprint, sprint, sprint and you turn sideways. Whatever way you turn, you manage to make it in the lift and the door goes shut tight. And the, blink, and the lift says, bling, bling. We're going up. The door is closed. You scarcely, you hardly, yeah, with difficulty, you made it. And that's going to be in this time of trouble. Come in. The elect is going to be during Jacob's trouble. And you're going to scarcely be make you're going to scarcely make it by the skin of the teeth. So how could you be preaching another doctrine? How could you be preaching another gospel? Yeah? It's not about smooth sailing. These so-called Christians, everything is to do with smooth sailing. Oh, the Lord loves me. He's going to stretch out his hand and I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to sweat. I don't have to be nervous. I don't have to be um, anxious. All it is, I don't have to go through nothing. The Lord is all living. He's a living power. He's a loving power. All he does is to stretch out his right hand and that's it. I'm going to be saved. I don't have to go through nothing. But it says that he let... Listen to me, right? It says, and, in, and if the righteous... So let me start from 17. For the time is come that... Judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, <laughs> it's gonna begin with us, you know. It's gonna begin with it's gonna begin with us. And the Lord Yahweh Basham loves us, but it's going to begin with us. What shall the end be of them that obey not? Gospel of Yahweh, yeah. Listen now. Look at this. You see, you're not, you're not, <laughs> you obey not the gospel of Yahweh by preaching a false doctrine. That is Caesar Borgia. This is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. 
This is the true doctrine. This is the true man of the Lord. If you preach another gospel, another doctrine, make it be a curse upon you. Right? This is the real doctrine. If it first begin at us, it begin with us, you know. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Basham Yahshai? You know, because you, you pervert in the gospel. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, because that's going to be during Jacob's trouble. When we're going through Jacob's trouble, it's going to be evil times. And we learn from our apostles that, our elders and apostles, that Jacob's trouble will happen. It's not going to be smooth sailing. It's not going to be like easy like Sunday morning. It's not going to be like an easy like Sunday morning. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? You see? But the elect, they're going to have to go through it. There's going to be a Jacob's trouble. And I'll say this, right? I'll say this to you, brothers and sisters, yes? That this kingdom of heaven, this new rulership to come, is going to be for eternity. You think the Lord's going to make it that easy for you to get in? You have to fight for it. Blood, sweat, and tears. We have to fight for this new kingdom to come. You see this one here. This kingdom here. This present rulership now. Is going to vanish away. Is going to pass away. That is temporal. But this one here. Is for eternity. Do you think that the Lord's going to make it that easy? Because that's why the scriptures are he that endured to the end. We have to fight that bitter fight. It's not going to be easy. And that's for the elect also. It's going to be also the elect are going to scarcely be saved. It's going to be very difficult because we're going to be living in that time. So whoever preached the doctrine that Jacob's trouble is not going to come, Make it be a curse upon you. All the praises and the glory goes to Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Brakoth Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekakudash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Yeah, stick to the order. Learn from the apostles. Learn from the apostles. That set us straight. A real shepherd is a shepherd that feeds their flock. Paraphrasing here. A real shepherd is a shepherd that feeds their flock and look after their flock. Guide their flock. So do not take it upon yourself and pervert the doctrine. Come, Yashorallah.